car, as I'm sure you can imagine, there are loads of different customizations and modifications actually available. One of the most exciting things about this new Mazda car is the intake on the hood. So make sure you fit one of those. Something else which I think is also important with a car like this is having a bright primary colour and a dark secondary colour. You can see I've gone for a yellow primary colour and I'm going to be going for a black stripe down the middle. I think it really stands out and it does make the colours look so much better on this car. There are also two different spoilers which you can choose from for this car. You have a smaller spoiler and a larger spoiler which personally makes this car look that slightly bit different, a little bit rarer when driving around, hence why I fitted it on my car. So anyway, once you have finished fully customising this car, just like the previous vehicle you'll notice that this vehicle does change dramatically, there are loads of different things in this car in comparison to the bog standard basic version, and you can see this car now looks a lot better, it's one of those things which you do want to store in your garage as a personal vehicle, and it's something which you can then go around and show your friends. This car also corners quite well in comparison to the other muscle cars in GTA 5. This car does go around corners very well and it does drift and power slide nicely and I will show you that briefly in this video. Unfortunately this car doesn't win any awards when it comes to speed. It's not very quick but to be honest it's one of those vehicles which you would just drive around for luxury and it's not something which you would use in any form of race.